Hi friends, welcome to another fun episode of Lisa Marvin Cooks. Um, today I'm making, I don't wanna say it's gonna be like super delicious because to be honest, it's like kind of made to my specifications because I wanna make granola, be a little healthy, but I can't eat nuts. So I can have peanuts because it's a legume, but I can't have delicious almonds, any of those nuts I cannot have. So it's very hard for me to eat a yummy granola that's healthy. So I found one uh, from this vegan website. I'll put the information and really um, you can kind of match it to whatever you want to do. So let's make some nutless granola. Okay, I have my little bowl here. We are gonna start with two cups of rolled oats. Whatever you got is fine. Okay. And we will dump her in. I really like this one because I'm really into the fun dried fruits. Uh, we're gonna have half a cup of sunflower seeds. And again, if you don't like sunflower seeds, then use something else. I'm able to eat them, which is fun for me. Okay. And I really, really enjoy um, pumpkin seeds as well. So I'm going to throw some of them. Sometimes they're called pepitas. These are roasted and salted. Yummy. Okay. All right. I'll eat this one that fell. Mmm, delicious. All right, so we got our seeds in, okay? Now I have some shredded coconuts. This is unsweetened. Half a cup of that. I love that I can just buy things and not have to work hard at making anything. You know what I mean? That's the best. Mm, I love the smell of this coconut. Okay. You know what? The recipe says heaped half, like heaped cup. They want a little bit more. Fine. Oops. I'll heap it up. All right. Here's the coconut. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, let's get some cinnamon. Half a teaspoon. Mm, doesn't this look good already? Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Aren't these pretty, by the way? I put each individual label on these in my Amazon store. You can find them. Okay, half, half a teaspoon. Da, 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 da. Sure, okay. Uh, a third of a teaspoon of sea salt. Why not? Here's some sea salt. Oh Lord, don't worry. Oh, you know what? This is coarse. We don't want coarse in there. Um, let's just go with, I can't find my other sea salt. Let's go with the regular salt. We don't have to be that healthy. You know what I mean? All right. And then she wants some cardamom, which is optional. Mm, no thanks on that one. And then a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm not actually a ginger fan, but I'll put like a little bit. Okay. Just like bloop, 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 bloop. Cause whatever. Okay. Why don't I get a spoon, right? Here it is. Um, okay, looking good already. Now, uh, she wants a cup. Sorry, I was just reading. She wants a cup of the dried fruit. I might go more than a cup, to be honest, but let's talk about what dried fruit I have. I have dried blueberries. Yum, why not? I've also in the past used, I don't, which I don't have now, um, I've used dried strawberries, which were delicious. Okay. So I'll put a few dried blueberries in there. I have golden raisins. Let's see what they taste like. Yeah, deliciously golden. I have Thompson Roots raisins. The oven's ready. She's excited. And really like, so I'm allergic to, oh look, my salt was right in front of me. By the way, so this is, you're supposed to put a little bit of this in your water every day and it's supposed to really help you stay hydrated and everything else, just a little tip. Um, 
so I'm allergic to cherries. Now I can have cherry pie, for instance. I don't know if I could have dried cherries or not. So I didn't do it, but dried cherries would be good. Um, all right, let's dump it in. Okay, so this is the basic thing of this granola, okay? Because that's all I can really eat. Now, she wants a quarter cup of maple syrup because we're healthy, okay? We don't do like so many sugars and whatnot, right? Uh, let's see. So, quarter cup of that. I use good maple syrup. A lot of the stuff that I use is like, I just might as well use the whole thing. This is Ontario maple syrup, yummy. No Aunt Jemima's here. You know what I mean? Okay, so we'll do that. Now, we are supposed to use uh, sunflower seed butter, okay? Now I got super seed butter, because sunflower seed butter, um, let's, it makes everything taste a bit too much like sunflower seeds. So I figured I might health it up. Now, when you get these, the oil rises to the top, okay? And it can be hard to mix in, but, and I just opened this new bottle. If you have these natural butters, uh, a good tip once you mix them is to put them in the fridge upside down. So the oils will go to the top, which is actually the bottom. And when you're ready to use it again, all the oils will be at the bottom and every, all the deliciousness will be at the top. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a quarter cup into here and kind of thin it out a bit because I have to coat all of my stuff with that. All right, mmm, delicious health. Okay, so I'm gonna put a quarter cup. You missed the bloop last time. Bloop. <laughs> My other cooking video, you guys were disappointed. Bloop. That is a bloop and a half. Okay. What else am I missing? Uh, oh, so and a bit of vanilla. But let me just do this first. Thin it out, right? Mmm. How can this be bad? Also, get yourself some real vanilla, not imitation. Uh, half a teaspoon. There we go. And again, these recipes, you can't really screw up. You know what I mean? Okay, so once I mix this in and coat everything, <coughs> I'm gonna put it on a lined baking sheet and bake it for about 20 minutes, stirring halfway through. Okay, oh, this is, looks nice and, should I taste it? Are we scared? Hello. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm not joking. Delicious. Like you can really taste mm, the depth of this. Hmm. Why don't I tell you what seeds are in here? I'm going to have to put my glasses back on. Uh, sunflower seeds, tapioca fiber, coconut oil, chia seeds, flax seeds. Oh, there's already maple syrup in here. No wonder. It's a little sweeter. Yum. You know what? I was like nervous, not really, but like, you know, it's, when you make healthy things, they're not like really delicious, but this was actually very delicious. I'm not joking. Okay, so let's coat her up. Okay. Coat her up and bake her up. Now, if I wanted to entice Mo to eat this, I might when it gets out of the oven, sprinkle a few chocolate chips on there and they'll kind of like melt in and then I can entice them a little bit more. Okay, so make sure they're all nice and coated. Okay. Yep, coated. Let's get our lined baking sheet. Okay, here's my sheet, and I'm going to throw on, I love these pre-cut parchment papers. Oh, my God, because I can just go like this. Now, um, 
parchment paper is so good and it's so much healthier for you actually than foil even though i still use foil for a few things but it's just healthier for you okay so let us spread it out okay i mean this is looking promising guys i haven't made this in about a year so okay yes spread 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 and i am gonna make like a thin layer and then it will kind of bake together and then when it's all baked up we can like get chunks off of it you know what i mean chunks i said chunks too much in my last video too so pretend i'm i'm kind i kind of pretend that i'm making like a base for some sort of cake or tart you know what i mean okay so let's put her in the oven for 20 minutes and i'll like toss it halfway through all right we'll be right back okay let's take her out of the oven nice and brown and you can see like the raisins have plumped up they will go back down all right here she is while we wait for it to cool down i'm just gonna press down into it and maybe when it dries it will kind of some pieces will kind of stick together a little bit okay i couldn't even wait for it to be cold here it is i'm gonna just put a little in a bowl now it would be really good with yogurt you know how to eat granola i'm trying not to eat too much dairy so i'm just gonna kind of like snack on it are you ready mm. okay it's super sweet like it almost tastes like it's not healthy <laughs> i mean i didn't put much more um, maple syrup, but maybe it was because the seed butter I had already had some maple syrup in it. So if you don't like sweet, just be careful what you put in. But like, let's have a chewy blueberry. Mm. You know what, guys? 10 out of 10. And Mo would eat this. He'd actually probably think it's a little too sweet. I love it. I'm so happy. Please let me know if you're going to try this nut free granola i love you guys bye hello so i'm eating the yogurt we used if you don't remember what this is mom we used it it's granola nut free granola M mom we used it put yogurt and fun stuff in it mm -hmm. it looks delicious and gluey mm. <laughs> oh my god that's actually good you don't like yogurt try the actual <laughs> granola part with the <laughs> yogurt though <laughs> oh I, I just tasted it it's actually a good combo let me see yeah there you go mm. Mm, it's a good combo see i know you don't like yogurt but the crunchy with it is good isn't it mm, like the taste mm -hmm. you like it i'm gonna wait this yeah a seven out of ten. Oh, that's a, oh you go back for more just plain yogurt look at you how, how do you feel? Good. You like yogurt? It looks good. Here, try some more with some granoles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's going to be a good little bite. There you go. Mm. Good? Mm. This is so good. Honest opinion, this is so good. Yeah, you like it? With some of the old ones, I didn't yeah. like that much. Yeah. Mom's kind of forcing me. But you like it now? Yeah. Look. The only one that I did kind of like was the granola. Uh huh. Oh, he's going in for like, yeah. Look at him go. He really likes it. Um, I have a name and I'm a human. Okay, what's your name? Mojo. What's your human status? Depression. <laughs> okay. 